Hi, this is Sean Kelly at the TIFF world premiere of Adam McGowan's Seven Days. So tell me about the character you play in the film. Yes, I play Beatrice. She is uh, the owner of the opera company, and um, there's a lot of uh, interrelations that happen between her and uh, Amanda Seyfried's character. So uh, yeah, she's, she's Beatrice. I don't want to give too much away. Um, she's got a lot of layers to her, a lot of in involvement with how things work at, uh, at the opera company. I play Rachel, she's the girlfriend of Clea, and uh, she is one of the understudies for the, the opera story. Sure. Uh, I was the assistant director to Amanda's character in the film, uh, so I was able to uh, to be there as a support character for her, uh, which was a really interesting role to play, I found, yeah. I, uh, I, I felt like I had a lot of um, experiences in the past that I could bring to the character because she was really struggling with uh, being able to take instruction from okay. management and pass it over to Amanda and understanding the creative process that Amanda was going through, or her character rather. Um, so it was, it was an interesting in-between space to play in. So I play Clea, who is a young woman who works in the props department at the opera company. Hi, I'm Maya J. Bastidas and I'm playing Demetra in Seven Veils. So I play the caregiver of Amanda Seyfried, who's a mother. I take care of her, yes. Uh, my role is Charlie. I'm the podcaster that interviews uh, Amanda's character and uh, some some uh, things from her past have to come out more and more after that. And I play um, Amanda's husband, who at this point we're we're not together. We're sort of figuring out a new phase of our relationship. So, what was it like working with Amanda McGoin on this film? Oh, he's amazing. He's patient. He's kind. He's generous. Um, he's very clear about what he wants. He's fun to be around. It was a safe environment. It was a warm environment. So yeah, he's great. It was a dream. He was a dream. Adam is extremely giving and he's very lovely and he's so specific and he really, um, he's an actor's director for me. It was a, a real treat and I, I, I really loved working with him. Oh, Adam is incredible. I honestly, I felt like it was such a gift to work with him. Even just being around him, his energy is just, uh, I, I I felt very honored to be there and, and definitely uh, would work with him anytime. Adam is, you know, for a guy who makes these really complex and nuanced stories, he's so down to earth and so kind and has a really nice sense of humor. So working with him is a joy. Honestly, it's very fun. I'm from Toronto, so uh, I actually went to film school here as well, so I had to study him in my first year. Um, it, was, it was a dream, working with him, uh, just being able to trust him as a director, knowing how successful and how unique his perspective is and his voice. Um, I felt like right away his guidance was very accepting and welcoming and warm, so was Amanda, so it was a very genuinely wonderful experience, yeah. Uh, he's the most generous, sweet, and uh, creative guy to work with. Uh, we were saying this outside, and I'll say it again, it's kind of a probably a boring answer. It's probably more exciting to be like he's a piece of shit, but <laughs> he's a super sweet, collaborative, like real brilliant guy. Yeah, he breeds a really good feeling on set because when you when I first walked on set, this is my first time working with Adam, everyone is so happy and everyone feels liberated. And the more liberated and happy everyone feels, the more they're going to try stuff because they feel like they can do it and someone's open to that. And Adam's very open artist. Hey, thanks.